ECMS News. I'm Nick. And I'm Evan. Let's take a deep dive into what is happening at El Cerrito for the week of February 10th and February 17th. Two weeks for the price of one? What a bargain! Guess Lying Good came out of last week's technical difficulties. We begin with girls soccer. 50 plus ladies came out to compete for a handful of roster spots two weeks ago and really gave it their all. Coach Case has posted the final roster and wants to personally thank everyone that came out. If you're a 6th or 7th grader and didn't make it, get back in the lab and train up. Next year is another chance. Switching gears and clubs ran by the vulnerable Mr. Chong news. Christian club is still going strong. Just because the meetings take place during second lunch, don't fret. First First lunch folks can get a pass from their fifth period teacher so you can attend as well. On Wednesdays, Comic Book Club takes up a residence in D3 during second lunch. And on Friday, the Ping Pong Club bounces into our hearts after school until 3.15 in D3. Three clubs, one t-shirt, de dedication cubed. Thank you, Mr. Chong. Moving on, it is award season and semester one awards assembly are taking shape. Team USC will help their awards assembly last Friday. Great job to all those 7th and 8th graders that walked away with an award. Team Idaho will take the stage in the NPR on Tuesday, February 11th at 11 a.m., right at the start of 5th period. Notre Dame steps up on Tuesday, February 18th during 2nd period, followed by Miami the same day during 4th period. Long, Be Long Beach finishes award season on Thursday, February 20th during 5th period. Confused? So are we! Ask your teachers or anyone in the office for clarification. This just in, Monday, February 10th was a school holiday. Yeah, we hope you emancipated yourself from school as we celebrated the life of good old number 16, Abraham Lincoln. Spoiler, spoiler alert, Monday, February 17th is a holiday as well. Two Mondays in a row? Sweet. Sweet, Sweet. Sweet indeed. Avid alert, avid alert, Cornell notes connoisseur and Centennial Baseball bench boss Mr. Pavic wants you to know that Avid High School applications are due to his room F7 by Friday, February 14th. Celebrate Valentine's Day by making your high school career a little stronger. Join Avid. Speaking of the future, Yemp Day is coming to El Cerrito on Wednesday, February 19th. Yemp is the day professionals from the community visit our school and talk about their employment. Tangible information from community sources count me in. In District Science for News, ECMS was well represented and had some standout performances. Hunter Train was placed second in the Mathematics category. And Nick Gomez placed first in the Physics and Astronomy category. He will go on the Riverside County Science Fair. Great job, gentlemen. Your maximum effort is truly what makes the school so special. Finally, best of luck to all of our math fielding participants as they go for the gold on Saturday, February 22nd. Mr. Michael is honed a crack team of mathletes to compete against this year. That's our broadcast, and that's the way it goes. Hey, everybody. It's Dave the Duck. I'm back. Look for me at Yem. I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be a duck. We'll see you then. Where's Frank? Ha 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 ha! Bye bye! Thanks for tuning in!